is sold. One day, Joseph's brothers were off with the sheep to the mountains. Jacob sent Joseph to check on his brothers. His jealous brothers saw him and decided to kill him. No, let's not kill him. Let's just throw him into the well, said Reuben, the eldest brother. Reuben did not want to kill him and planned to rescue Joseph later. The moment Joseph came, the brothers pounced on him, took off his special coat and threw him into the well. Reuben went off to tend the sheep while the others sat down to eat. As they were eating, some merchants came there. The brothers sold Joseph to the merchants, who took him along with them. When Reuben came to know about what his brothers had done, he grew sad. The brothers showed Jacob Joseph's coat, which they had soaked in the goat's blood. Jacob cried and cried, thinking Joseph was dead. The Steward's Dream The merchants sold Joseph to a man called Potiphar in Egypt. He was in charge of the royal guards of the pharaoh. Potiphar was pleased with Joseph and put him in charge of his house. This made Potiphar's wife jealous. So she accused Joseph of doing something which he hadn't. An angry Potiphar put Joseph in prison. Among the prisoners was the pharaoh's steward. One day he went to Joseph to seek an explanation for a dream he had. He said, In my dream, I had three bunches of grapes. I squeezed them into the pharaoh's cup and gave the cup to him. Joseph said, This dream means that within three days, the pharaoh will forgive you and you will leave the prison. Just like Joseph had predicted, the pharaoh forgave the steward. The steward went back to the pharaoh, forgetting all about Joseph. Joseph and the Pharaoh's Dream One day, the pharaoh had a strange dream. He dreamt that seven fat cows came out of River Nile. Then seven thin cows came out of the river and ate the seven fat cows. No one could interpret the pharaoh's dream. Suddenly, the steward remembered Joseph and told the pharaoh about him. So, Joseph was called. He said, you dream the future. The seven fat cows are actually the coming seven years when you will have a good harvest. But the next seven years after that will be years of drought. So, I suggest that you start storing the excess harvest for the seven years of drought. The pharaoh was deeply impressed. He made Joseph the governor of Egypt. He was the most important man in Egypt, only next to the pharaoh himself. Joseph had become a rich and respected man. Joseph unites with his family. As per the dream, the seven years of harvest were followed by seven years of drought. But Egypt 
had enough food. People started coming to Egypt to buy food. Among them were Joseph's brothers. Joseph recognized them, but they could not. Joseph deliberately accused them of being spies, but they denied this. But Joseph kept one brother as a hostage and told them to return with the youngest brother to prove they were not spies. In reality, he wished to see his youngest brother. His brothers returned with Benjamin. Jacob was happy to see him. While they were leaving, Joseph slipped a silver goblet in Benjamin's bag. The palace guards arrested him for stealing. But the other brothers pleaded that he was innocent. Joseph could not carry on his pretense anymore. He told his brothers who he really was. He told them to get Jacob. So Jacob and the whole family came to Egypt and all of them lived happily together. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.